friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this patient has mild cataract with moderate non proliferative diabetic retinopathy and our retina consultant has suggested cataract surgery along with intravitreal injection of anti VEGF so I have taken up this case for surgery by this time main incision has been made visco has been injected into the anterior chamber and it has been applied over the cornea a side port has been made and now capsular axis I'm using the iterator forceps raising a flap by the forceps itself and doing this continuous Curvilinear capsular axis, and this is a fairly round axis of adequate size. And now, some visco is removed by depressing the posterior leaf of the main wound. Hydrodissection is done, and then the nucleus is rotated. and now some more visco and then the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and in this case I attempted carousel technique but it didn't happen so I'm trying mechanical job now means I will support the lens mass be in irrigation now yes and then try to chop it and I could do that and now I'm trying to separate the two hemineuclei completely and then on hemineucleus tumbles and comes to the tip and it is emulsified and now I hold the other hemineucleus and emulsify it and now I'm injecting visco this is 2% ASPMC and I'm going to use a 23 gauze Simco cannula as coaxial irrigation aspiration and here it is first when the visco is incised I remove the sub incisional cortex first and then I remove the rest of the cortical matter so this has been a very fast removal of cortex and the posterior capsule is very clean no cells in this case still some amount some polishing was done and now I implant the lens with the B cartridge and in such cases I enlarge the main wound by 0 0.2 millimeter so the wound becomes about 3 millimeter now a monofocal single piece intraocular lens has been placed in the capsular bag and the lens is nicely centered now this is moxifloxacin now I hydrate the side port close the side port by corneal stromal hydration once this is done I do a final lavage of the anterior chamber this is the final lavage and after this the anterior chamber is nicely formed and now 
injection of anti VEGF. In this case, we are using Bivacizumab 0.06 ml. This is about 3.5 millimeter from the limbus and this is the medicine Vivasichumav and now I check the intraocular pressure still and I find that the eyeball is very hard so I take a Sinsky hook depress the posterior leaf of the sideboard and remove some BSS and the intraocular pressure becomes normal. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will give you some tips to improve your surgical skills.